You're listening to Run, Are You Win? Revive Us Now podcast with Steve Gray. As pastor of the Smithton Outpouring and the Kansas City Revival, Steve is a leading voice of revival worldwide. Steve shares his life-changing encounters with God, along with biblical teaching that equips you to experience and lead lasting revival. Come, run with Steve and expect God to revive us now. Hello and welcome to another Revive Us Now podcast. I am your host, Steve Gray, and we're going to talk about revival today and kind of what we're seeing around in the world today. Uh, I don't think it's any surprise. I don't want to start off too negative, but isn't any surprise. We're seeing a lot of evil in the world, and we're seeing it in our country. It's just, it's just something, uh, something that if you're spiritual at all, you feel there's a lot of evil pushback, you know. And um, evil's always been here. There's nothing new about that. I mean, evil's not new. But there's been seasons in history when evil began to really push hard, and we're seeing it. And uh, now we, we got to know what to do about it. And so I looked in Romans 12, 21. And of course, you might know this once you hear it. It says, do not be overcome by evil. And it's, I mean, there's so much around now. I don't, I don't even, even want to bring it up and describe it. But there's so much around us now, whether it be in schools, government, uh, economy, uh, military, countries, arising threats, nuclear threats, you know, whatever. There's so much evil around. So you, you could be overcome. It can be fearful. I was telling some people the other day, you know, when I grew up, there was nuclear threat. And I was describing in one of our services that when I was in grade school, uh, people didn't realize how close we were to nuclear war. Now we do. We got movies on it and you can read books on it. And I mean, pushing those buttons, I mean, it was really, really close and people didn't know. Although we practiced just in case, you know, back then. But there was an attitude, you know, in, in kids, especially uh, high schoolers, I think, and college kids, that they, like, I remember kids saying, well, I'm not going to do my homework. Why do I have to do my homework? We're all going to be blown up anyway, you know, and stuff like that. And because uh, we're all going to die and die in a nuclear blast anyway. And that kind of crept into our culture back then. And so even today, as, this, as it expands and we see such unusual things taking place that we've never seen in our lifetime, in my lifetime, even back then, uh, uh, today, you can start being overcome with evil and fear get in and, and uh, being pessimistic and just those kinds of things. And so the Bible says, don't be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. And so that's our calling. That's the people of God. We've got to overcome evil by doing good. But the problem is, what is good? What kind of good do we do? Now, uh, historically, when people read that, and I'm going to try to change this today, and just in your minds, if you'll listen. Historically, when we say do good, overcome evil with, by doing good, then the church has done good by doing what? Well, they go get a, a clo you know, go give some clothes away, get a, a food, food closet, you know, and give food away, give shoes away, uh, open up that and give clothes away, get, you know, all those kinds of things, mostly to poor people. They start doing good, more things to poor people. Is that good? Yes, it is good. But does that overcome evil? You can still go home and have evil coming at you. It can overcome you and say, well, I just gave a whole bunch of money to the poor. I gave them clothes. I gave them groceries. I gave them shoes. I gave their kids backpacks and school supplies. And then you still go home and that evil is overcoming you. So there's got to be something more to it. And so what I try to do is we've got to do when it says overcome evil with good, we've got to overcome evil with the inner good, not the outer good. The outer good is fine, but that's not going to overcome evil. What overcomes evil is when you deal with the inner good and get inner good going. Um, Jesus said that. He said, you know, religion and the, and the, in his day, he said, you wipe the, out of the outside of the cup clean, but you leave the inside of the cup dirty. And that's where we deal with the evil is we got to clean the inside of the cup. Today, you know, when we talk about revival, uh, you can't read about revival, real revival, real revival. You can't read about it or study it to where you're not going to hit somewhere on repentance is a big part of revival. Historically, you read in any of the revivals in history, they're all going to come about one of them, of course, prayer, and then you hit on 
re repentance. And so then people start saying, well, we got to pray, good, and then we need to repent. That's good too. But they don't know what to repent of. So they start thinking of all the outward stuff they've done, which, okay, I get it. That's important too. All the outward sins you did as a kid or an adult or whatever, and uh, you drank or you watched bad movies or you had to elicit this or that, and everything's outward. And the church is notorious for leaving the inside dirty. So you, you, everybody's repenting of all the outside stuff. And then they go to church with a bunch of people who are rebellious and greedy. Do you know greed's accepted in church today? You can be greedy and nobody cares. And uh, rebellion's there and selfish ambition, which the Bible talks against. And um, so, and, and, then, and then the people come, you know, and uh, they, they use the ministry. And, and, you know, a lot of people come and they get involved and they say, God told me to do this and God's leading me over here to do that. And, and all they're doing is an ego boost. It's not really the Holy Spirit saying to do it. They're just looking to boost their ego. So I'm going to go, God's telling me to do this. Well, they're boosting their own ego. Their egos are down. So they're going to go find something and say, God told them to do it. And they're going to go do something, and they're looking for an ego boost. And that's completely the opposite of what God wants us to do. We're not supposed to be feeding our ego off of poor people or as a preacher feeding our ego off our sermons. See, that's not good. And so all this stuff is going on inside of us while we're trying to overcome evil out there while there's a whole, whole bunch of junk going on inside of us. So uh, all this inside of us is no good. Rebellion's no good. Pride. Oh, that's accepted. That's no good. It's no good. Uh, just, you know, Paul had to, he said he had to deal with deceiving apostles. Can you imagine that? They, they were going, and people thought they were apostles. And he says, no, 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 no. They're deceiving apostles. They have deception in them. That's no good. We probably have them in our day, too. You think so? Yeah. And so uh, people who are trying to use other people to boost their ego in min by using ministry for ego boosters and and like I said, rebellion and pride and greed and all that. You know what? That's no good. And we need to we need to recognize it and start dealing with the things that are no good and start getting the inside clean, which is good. And then you begin to overcome evil with the good because that evil is not the same. Because if there's evil out there and there's evil inside of you, that's very much the same because out there is what? Same thing, greed, rebellion, right? Selfish ambition, everybody out for themselves, look out for number one, all that kind of stuff. Ego boost boosters, that's, every, that's, that's everywhere. Everybody's out for themselves, and all of a sudden, that's you. Well, then how are you going to overcome that evil and the, all this coming at you, all this powers of darkness coming at you, and depression, oppression, you know, People have thoughts, Christians have thoughts of suicide, and I don't know where, and, and all this stuff going on inside. How, you can't overcome that evil. It's coming at you, and you can't overcome it because you're entertaining it. So Jesus, or Paul said, we got to overcome evil with good. And so the best way to do that is then you got to return to the Lord and, and uh, get rid of all that stuff and not have any of that. And so you want to get the good inside you and by doing that and saying, I don't need, I don't need to have rebellion. Listen, if you've got God inside, you've got the Holy Spirit inside of you, you, Jesus is your Savior, and you say, you know, Jesus is in my heart, what do you need rebellion for? You don't need to have that. You don't need amb selfish ambition. You don't need to manipulate people, right? You don't need that. You don't need to twist things, and you don't need to, to, to lie. You don't need to lie when you've got all that kind of stuff, you know, uh, in you, you don't need any of that. You've got the Holy Spirit working for you. So just learn how to activate that Holy Spirit so you don't need any of that ego boost stuff. It's all no good. And so we got to turn that and start doing good by getting good uh, operational inside of us. And so that's the problem that uh, Christianity has had and, and some Judaism had it too. Is they, in, in Jesus' day, they, the Jews wanted a Messiah to come and destroy Rome but the problem is they had the same symptoms in their heart at Rome. They, they were so much alike, even though one was pagan and Gentile, one was Jewish, but their hearts were not right before the Lord. And so one of the things we can learn then that's happening in religion and churches and all that, get this. Now, so 
remember Saul, he became king of Israel, and eventually, you know, he fell. He didn't handle things right. And David then, famous David, King David, took over, and he was a man after God's own heart. Get this. This is where we need to go in churches today and in religion today. Because God talked, uh, the, uh, Samuel, the prophet Samuel talked to Saul, and he said, listen, Saul, when you were small in your own eyes, see, we don't have to be small in everybody else's eyes. We don't have to get small and have everybody walk all over us. No, but when we're small, he said, when you were small in your own eyes, and this is where everything falls apart. When we get big in our own eyes and, and we start thinking of ourselves too more highly than we ought to think, and then our ego comes in. And you know, there's nothing worse than two things, and this is in ministers and churches today. Ego plus fear is a mess. And uh, if you study it, they'll say uh, leader, Christian leaders and pastors and evangelists and all that are the most fearful, one of the most fearful groups of people in occupations anywhere. But they're also the most egotistical. What a mess. Ego plus fear is going to be a mess. We don't need to do that. Let's get the good into us. So we're going to stop evil, right? But we're going to stop evil by not just doing good to help people and feed people and help the poor. That's all. That's good, too. But we're going to do good. We're going to get good on the inside of us so that good is happening. We don't need all that re that rebellion and ambition and deception and ego boosting. No, we don't need any of that. we got the Holy Spirit inside of us. So when the oppression and darkness is coming at us, we can overcome it because we don't have it in us. And then we can, we can really do something in this world. As Paul said, don't be overcome by evil. No, but overcome evil with the good. And I'll add, with the good that's inside of you. Now we can have a move of God because we've got some people that really have the Holy Spirit has empowered them on the inside with the power of good. And that's what I want you to grab a hold of today. Till next time, bye-bye. Thanks for listening to the Revive Us Now podcast with Steve Gray. Push the subscribe button so you don't miss an episode and spread the word on social media. For more episodes and resources, go to reviveusnowpodcast.com. Until next time, keep on running for revival.